Hey, hey, this is Lorraine. Hi, everybody. This I'm bringing you today is the Amazon Information Highway. And the big elephant in the room is, is Amazon saturated? Let's go find out. We want to know, and everybody wants to know, is Amazon saturated? Here are the facts. Okay, the answer is no. And I'm going to show you why. There are approximately 8 billion people in the world. 6.7 billion are of buying age. Got the wallet, got the credit card, got what it takes to purchase anything that they want. Amazon has 300 million active customers and it's growing daily. Amazon itself sells over 12 million different products. But here's the thing. If you add on size, different sizes and different colors, it actually equals out to 353 million different products selling on Amazon. But guess what? There are only 1.9 million sellers worldwide. Now look at these numbers. 8 billion people in the world. 6.7 billion are of buying age. 300 million active customers and only 1.9 million sellers worldwide with over 353 million different types of products. Hmm, I'm kind of liking this data. I'm always working on data. No matter what we do, we need to make an informed decision on why are we going to go into the Amazon business? What's in it for me? Is it viable? Can I do it? You absolutely can do it. Now, I'm going to show you some more information, okay? Just this year alone, we had Prime Day. Now, how many of you were out there shopping on Prime Day? Oh, me, 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 me. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate you. <laughs> Amazon revenues from sellers. We start with Prime Day 2022. These are the products that sold the most, the household essentials. H household essentials always sell the most. Then there's health and beauty, consumer. Now you got to be careful with apparel and shoes. Although it's high, there's also a high return rate. I knew there was going to be a catch. And here's why. I know women, I happen to be one of them. But I definitely don't do this. But many people think they're smaller than they are. If they're a size 16, they want to buy a size 14 or a size 12. And they think they're going to squeeze into it. Oh, I'm a size 12. Since when? Or size 12 or bigger? I don't think so. But anyways, I always buy clothes that are a little bit bigger. Because I, I, I don't like tight clothes. God, these pants are burning up. But anyways, a lot of women will buy smaller. Oh, my shoe size is six and a half and they're size eight. Then they get at home, squeeze into it and say, this is too small. I wonder why. Your size is a size eight, sister Annie. But this is the thing. Returns can cause a negative review. Returns can cause Amazon to flag your site. You've been red flagged. And say, hey, you have quite a few returns. We need to fix this. Find out what's wrong. Fix your listing. Fix your photographs, whatever it is. But we cannot have a continuation. So you have to sell more in order to offset the returns. So apparel and, and shoes is a little bit risky. So I kind of stay away from that one. I kind of would recommend that. But, you know, this is up to you. It's your business if you decide to do Amazon. Home and garden is a good one. Grocery, that one's picking up. People are buying more groceries on Amazon. So smart home devices is pretty high too. Toys and games, especially around Christmas time. But check this out. 1.9 million sellers, Prime Day alone in 2022, this was just recently, sold $12 billion worth of product. So whoever shopped and is listening to this, mahalo. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is a three-day event. And on day one, the revenues reached $7.6 billion in sales by the 1.9 mil. Thank you again. <laughs> so here's what I want you to see. In 2021 alone, this is the Amazon growth chart. It is continually going up. That $33 billion you see in graph number one, that was their net profit over last year. So they sold $469 billion worth of product in 2021. That was their total. You can research all of this yourself. I love data. Anytime I used to work with contracts and acquisitions, I want to know my opponent. I want to know who I'm dealing with. I want to know the projections, but I want to know projections based on data. 
not based on a guess. Well, it's projected to make this much. Well, how do you know? Well, I look at the data. They're looking at what are the new products that have come out this year? How's the beta testing on new products? How much sales are they making? Are they joining the Amazon platform? They're looking at all of this, and now their projections are for Christmas. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is some big stuff. So the annual net revenues, Amazon, from 2004 to 2021. So this is your second graph, okay? It's showing you each year how much it sold. So Amazon in 2021 sold $469 billion with a capital B. Jeez. (laughs) I love it. I love being an Amazon seller because I want a piece of this pie, don't you? So this was only done by 1.9 million sellers. <laughs> and this is why it's so good because Amazon right now, what they're doing and they're gearing up for Q4. Q4 is the big one. Q4 is your Christmas. They are getting rid of old sellers because there are sellers that have product just sitting there. And they're like, you've been here long enough. We are not your average warehouse where you just store things. You are here to sell. You're still going to have to sell. So if you're not going to sell your product and it's been here for six months and you haven't had any sales, then we need to do something with the product to make room for people who are actually selling. We need to make room for new sellers. This is what Amazon loves, the new seller, because you have all that energy. You have all that training and knowledge and desire to change your life. So Amazon is making room for you, especially now, especially the new year. They want you to brand yourself. They want you to brand your products. They want you to build a store. They want you to be a seller. Be a seller here. This is what they want. So they're making room for you and they're giving you special treatment because you are new. Hey, new kid. So the old sellers who are not doing anything, people who have gone on and said, well, I'll learn from a little bit here and a little bit there and maybe get a piece here and I'll figure it out as I go. Well, they're not selling anything because there's a strategy to selling on Amazon and you need to have information. You need to have accurate information, good information. So even though I'm giving you this data, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just giving you information on how things should be done and what to look for. So is Amazon saturated? Mm -mm, Not even by far. But here's the thing. A lot of people are telling you this. This is great for me. If a lot of people are telling a lot of people it's saturated and they don't come to Amazon, (laughs) I'm good with that because then they don't take my money. I have more room to grow. So the less amount of people that are here, I'm good. But I want to inform the people who genuinely want to sell and want to change their life and want to replace the nine to five, want to build a business, want to make money. Show me the money. They want to make part of that $469.82 billion a year. That's the person I'm talking to, because this is the reason I do a deep dive into this data. Okay. So how much revenues has Amazon made so far in 2022? They have only calculated up to Q2, quarter two. Now they haven't even calculated quarter three, which had Prime Day. They haven't even calculated yet because we haven't reached our big days. The biggest day of the year is Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And make no mistake about it, coming up and pulling up the rear is the after Christmas sale because a lot of people only sell certain items at Christmas and they overstock because they don't want to run out of stock because they can't get it there in time for the next sale. So they, they overstock for this one. And then right after Christmas, boom, they slash the prices 50 to 75% off and sales just roll out the freaking door. So this is what's going on so far in Q2. Amazon has already generated $121 billion. That's not even Q3 yet. They haven't even added Q3 in. And that's all the general sales plus the uh, three-day event for Prime Day. And we're gearing up. And Black Friday is right around the corner. And we're super excited for it because, yes, money. a ching This is a great season for everybody right here. This is a great season. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. This is a moneymaker, and this is where Amazon is going to make its big bucks. So all year round, we're gearing up for the next one. All year round, we're gearing up for the sales because they'll have intermittent sales throughout the year as they did in Q1. 
and Q2, they'll have a special day, but the prime day is the big day. That's in Q3. And they're looking at having two prime days a year. Another one. It's been talked about. I've been researching. I've been watching. I've got my ear to the Amazon information highway. And this is what I'm bringing you. So if you are wondering, is Amazon saturated? No, it's not. There are certain products that are saturated because people generally think about things they know or things that they buy. But we don't teach you that. We teach you what people are actually looking for. Okay, not the Apple iPhone cover. That's the everyday thing a lot of people are looking for. And so that is saturated by Apple because they own it. You can't sell it unless you get permission, you know, and that's a whole nother racket. But right now, the brands, they are holding on to their own brands and they are reducing the people who can sell for them. They're, they're going straight for their own store because this is where the money is. They only get a percentage if somebody else sells for them. But if they do it themselves and, and start their own little conglomerate going on, that's where they make the money. So that has shifted. So now you need to come up with your own brand. And this is part of the fun because you're building your own brand. I have my own brand and I'm selling products under my brand. You can have multiple brands. You can have one store, multiple brands. So if you think it's saturated, please don't listen to the noise. The noise is when people come at you and they tell you this is saturated. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do this. Look at them and, and, and ask yourself, are they a seller? Have they done this before? If they don't and they haven't, how can they give you advice when I'm actually giving you data? Hardcore data, which you can look up yourself. Like I said, I don't do anything without data. It's all about the numbers. Be loyal to the numbers. Be loyal to the accurate data. Don't just look for one. Keep diving in and looking. Okay. So I look forward to seeing you guys again. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and click the like button and, and share with us in the comment section if there's something else you want to learn about. And I'll keep bringing you more information on the Amazon Information Highway. Aloha.